What's going on guys? It is October 6th and I'm not going to the deer stand. I'm going dove hunting. The wind's perfect. My buddies talked me into going. I even woke up late. I should be in the deer stand, but we're going dove hunting. Overcast day, 11 mile an hour southeast wind, which is perfect for the spot that we hunt. Uh, you want a south wind. They're always flying through the same area, but when you have a south wind, it pushes them down. They should be flying low this morning, so we should be able to get our, hopefully our limit pretty quick. ended up with I think 28 birds not a bad morning for um, mid-October we just got a call from Shannon said the alligator gar should be biting today so we're going from dove hunting to the river we're gonna go down there hop on his airboat and see if we can't catch a big alligator gar we only have a couple hours to fish so hopefully they'll be biting whenever we're down there welcome to Marlin barbecue and burgers would you like a little mustard on your burrito baby <laughs> All right, guys, we made it to the river. We just put the anchor out. We're gonna see if we can't get on a big gar. The water's going down, so he doesn't know what it's gonna do, but we got carp as bait. We shot it the other night. It was like that when we shot it. Oh, it was? Yeah. All right, what I do is I split the, uh, the head in two so the gar's mouth ain't open as much when he goes to bite it. So if his mouth's like this with a big head, his mouth's like this, you got a better chance of getting the hook in his mouth. That's kind of one of my secrets to, so I cut his head. The grinders, they grind their food down. Huh? Has anybody ever seen a buffalo carp's teeth? Well, Shannon knows where to find them. Is that far enough? I remember when I was 23, out like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready when you are. This is getting a little more confident out here. You ready? Ready when you are. Ah! I see it pull out now. One bite. First fish, we've been here 10 minutes. Oh, he's too bad, it's a good sign. Keep reeling. Keep all that string. If it feels like it's tight, tight. I don't feel nothing. Feels like a tree. Well, this gar wrapped us in the tree, so Shannon is uh, crazier than me and Brad, so he's getting in the water to see where this line's wrapped up at. We don't even know if the fish is still on, but he's gonna try. You want me to give you slack? Yeah. 
How's the water feel, Shannon? I'm like no amoebas or nothing. No gar. But we're gonna keep trying. He's on. Keep that pressure. Keep the pressure on it. Don't give him any slack. Something small. Turtle. There you are. So that's a good, that's, that's a good, that's a I don't know. We're moving about one second. There you go, fucking song shit. They get eaten. Bow. Got us a big soft shell turtle. They're good eating. We went ahead and uh, dispatched them. We're gonna take them home. I'm gonna clean them. I'll show you how I clean them. And then we're gonna cook them up tonight and eat good. All right, we're sitting here waiting on a gar to bite. Shannon's gonna show us how to how he cleans a soft shell turtle. So what do you do? Just cut around the bottom shell and then skin them out and you get this middle plate out and then belly plate and then you skin them out. Should have eggs in here. They always have eggs. A lot of people make like a turtle soup. They'll just put these whole legs in there mm -hmm. and break them down. Skin his back legs. Turtles cleaned and quartered. Uh, we just got it all in a sack right now. I'm going to clean it up when we get to the house. Fry it up tonight. And uh, hopefully trick the wife into eating it. Thanks, Shannon. Tell us caribou. Got all the meat ready to be cut up into pieces to fry. We're going to see what it tastes like. Teddy Grace, you gonna eat some? I'll try some. Alright. About to do a little taste test, see how good this stuff is. I've had it one time before, a long time ago, and I remember it being good, so here we go. Way more tender than you'd think. Tastes like, if you've ever had frog legs, tastes just like frog legs. That would be way better with ketchup, but that is amazing. I could eat that once a week. That's that. Next time you catch a soft shell turtle, clean it up and cook it, because that is good eating right there. Stay tuned and subscribe. Go along for the adventures with me. Eat good. <laughs>